Hello, I am Karen Dufresne, an HTC librarian. In collaboration with the online learning department, I am presenting a three-part video series called Search, Evaluate, Cite. These videos take you on a deeper dive into developing keyword strategies and research strategies. This first video called Search will focus on three primary goals. Your research assignment, your research need, and keyword search term strategy. Understanding your assignment. Look at the assignment criteria. What type of information do you need? This is called your research needs. Understanding your assignment will help you understand your research needs. What kind of resources will match your research needs? Not every assignment will use the same type of resources. Do you need peer-reviewed scholarly information? Or is a newspaper article or book on your topic more appropriate? Next, review your topic. Figure out the keywords which represent the main ideas of your research topic and then can be developed into search terms. Let's look at an example. Here is an example of a research topic. There is a lot of information here, but what about all of this information that is actually needed for your research assignment? Not all of this might be necessary. So to determine what you need out of all this information is to figure out the keywords. Keywords are the primary or the main words relevant to your research topic. A good step in determining your keywords is to highlight or make a note of the keywords, which can be one word or a group of words together. For example, student loan, debt, inflation, increase, college graduate, and academic goals can all be used as keywords for this example. Next, we want to brainstorm for additional terms related to your research topic. Brainstorming is one way you can expand in your keywords from your research topic. What about your topic do you want to know? Brainstorming is thinking off the top of your head. There is no prescribed way to brainstorm. Think of terms related to your research topic. Think of common words, places, people, related words, or synonyms. Related words and synonyms, synonyms can play a very important role when conducting academic research. Let's do an example. So our main topic is student loan, debt. But what about that topic? Do we want to know? What kind of information do we want to learn about our main topic? We can break this apart and we can use maybe student loan or student debt or maybe loan debt. Why would we break that apart? Because they could have two different meanings. When you think of these terms, I think off the top of my head, if I had student loan debt, I would think of the financial strain that that would put me under. And how could that affect you? It could affect maybe your credit score. And why would that be important? Because that could affect how, or if you needed to apply for a car loan. And something else that it might affect is interest rates on loans that you might need to apply for. One more thing, think of those related words, synonyms. So when I think of the word student, I also think of the word college because what type of student are you? You're a college student. So the next few slides, will, I will show you how you can take your keywords and develop them into search terms. So let's take those keywords and their um, brainstorming exercise and let's turn them into search terms. The next few slides will show you how you can do that. My main topic for my research needs is student loan debt. So that would be the first search term that I will use as an example. As I type my search term into the library search box, notice how I typed quotation marks around this three word phrase. So I have a quotation mark here at the end under after the word debt. And then I also have one at the beginning in front of the word student. So placing quotation marks around a search term tells the library search engine to find that exact word or group of words. It is called exact searching. It is not necessary to use quotation marks, but it can really help narrow your results. If typing in your search term one way does not produce the results that you want, try something different. Break your search terms apart. This example I used, search uh, student loan in quotation marks, I added a second search term box and typed debt on that second line. Do not be afraid to change your search terms around even more. For example, by typing loan debt and student, loan debt then becomes the main topic and student becomes a secondary search term. 
One more example when developing and using search terms. Think back to the brainstorming exercise. I mentioned to think about synonyms or related words that can be related to your keyword. In our research topic, both student loan, student loan is mentioned as well as college student. Switch out student for college as a search term to achieve different but relevant results. So far, we have discussed words to use for search terms. The next two slides describe additional tools that can be used when conducting academic research. The first tool is called Boolean operator. These are words or symbols that um, combine um, or exclude words in a search term box and joins two concepts. My example search terms in the previous slides used and as a connector. We asked the library catalog search engine to look for student loan and debt. The next one is or. Or broadens or expands two concepts. You can also use not. Not excludes or eliminates search terms. These operators are typically typed in all capital letters. Other search strategies can be used as well. Truncation allows you to use symbols at the end of root words as your search term. For example, increase is one of the words I highlighted in the research topic slide. I can use increase as my search term because by adding an asterisk that at the end tells the search engine, such as the library catalog, to find words that start with increase but end in any variation of the word, such as increase, increasing, or increased. One more lap search tip wildcard. This allows you to use question marks as a character wildcard for words that have the same meaning but can be spelled in different ways. I use the word color here as my example. By typing in color, C-O-L-O -O, question mark R, the system will look for all words that are spelled either color, C-O-L-O-R, or C-O-L-O-U-R. So, so far in conclusion, here are some key takeaways for the search video. Understand your assignment. Brainstorm and develop keyword search terms. Apply searching strategies when needed. For more information, we have an online library research guide at this URL. An online library research guide is something that is produced by librarians at multiple institutions, including HGC. And these are online research tools that can help you in a course help you with an assignment, or help you in general uh, research topics.